What's going on everyone? This is your boy Ash the Man here to bring you the noise about Tower of God episode 9 the one horn Oric. Yeah, one horn Oric, baby. So before we go ahead and get started, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and also leave a comment below, and don't forget to share. Share on all social media platforms. I appreciate the love and the support that I have been getting so far. So let's definitely jump into this episode. Now, if you revisit episode 8, you know that um Coon's plan was to pretty much you know their team fail because some of the members of like their team like really didn't need to win the whole purpose was is to make sure that everyone from their original team who they have like a little like friend list was able to succeed so that's the way that it goes so right now it's all up to ban team to win and make sure that everybody gets passed now uh, when it came to BAM team, it pretty much got decided who was going to be the leader, and that was uh, Indoshi. Um, she is one of the princesses. You got a chance to see her. She was on the same team as Rachel. Um, her her character has been interesting to the series because any princess of Jahai has sort of like a background of certain characteristic that made them a princess of Jahai. But nevertheless, so. Uh, so the teens get to um, get started, get the plan going and everything. People get stationed. Now, the main purpose of her like setting up everything is because, again, she's a fishman. That's, that's her type. So she got all the fishmen together and she just did a process of elimination the same way that she became a princess. Bam didn't understand because like he was like, man, we all on the same team. Why? And she kind of like had to be grounded with him. Like everybody is trying to climb up to the tower. And there can only be one at the top of the tower. So, and honestly, you pretty much had to trim down the competition. It's just that simple. So, why that going on? We get a chance to um, to see um, Ho pretty much put his plan into motion. Like, yeah, like, yeah, he got a little bit of his own agenda. So, his agenda was to pretty much, you know, get get bam like he he just like bam and that was my idea of when they first started they training you know when you know they you know like as seeing how bam is progressing and ho pretty much kind of like at a standstill now the crazy thing is that bam did praise ho for his progression in there but ho knew that bam like had potential and when he got a little bit of advice bam start ex excelling now, I'm not saying that he's the top of the class, he's doing this and that, because if Kuhn team would have won, that definitely would have put Bam in eyes of not passing. So that's the whole thing of Kuhn strategy. So he goes to Rachel location, uh, pretty much draws her out and pretty much uses her as bait in to try to get Bam there. Now, as, as everything is going on, he's trying to look for Rachel's, you know, location and can't find it and then race to it. Now, when they race to it, you know, of, of course, I don't find her going over there. You know, um, he end up stabbing Rachel. I mean, like, phone check. <laughs> but more, more or less, um, <clears throat> he did so. And then Bam was able to use um, the Rankers. Um, like ability like he showed bam an ability that allows him to you know pretty much free somebody in us for a certain amount of time and he was like if you can use this or master this you should be able to help her and when he stabbed her you see that bam was able to use it just quickly so his um you know anticipation his way of learning is definitely one to say very impressive so after that happened, um, again, <clears throat> he got a chance to hear Ho out and pretty much he just disliked Bam. He knew Bam was a particular figure that he would have had to overcome to reach the top of the tower. And it goes back into what Idoshi said previously in the episode. So you see them going against the ranker in which they was able to overcome still his badge and they was able to win. So that means that Bam did pass. Unfortunately, you know, bodies have been lost. You guys... You, got to see people get bodied so it is what it is but this episode was really good like i think like um and me and my boy um vgl kind of like said it um and he kind of pointed out that this is 
kind of like one of the best episodes so far. And and the reason that I can understand and do agree with that is because this is kind of like a learning curve for um, Bam. Bam has been a straightforward character. He wanted to find Rachel. Um, he wanted to be with her. Um, he if he finds a liking to somebody, he befriend them. But that's not it's not that easy. And I guess this is going to be the kind of thing that Bam is just going to have to understand. There's going to be people who dislike you, who's going to want to overcome you, who's going to want to best you to get to the next thing. So he has to keep that in mind. So that pretty much sums up the episode. And again, thank you guys for definitely um, joining in. If you could leave a comment below to let me know what your guys thoughts on this episode. Um, and don't forget, share, share the video. Definitely appreciate it. Other than that, Ashton Man is out. Peace.